feet. Chase Jefferson into the open field. No one's going to touch him. Mark it up. Touchdown, Sioux Falls. 40, the 30, and he is gone to the house. Touchdown, Tallahassee. Tipped and picked off by Colin Douglas, who's going to take it back all the way. A pass caught, first down. What a move. D.R. Sim, get out of here. The doctor is in for the touchdown. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Stadium Stadio Azteca in Mexico City, Mexico. Sioux Falls will come into town and take on the Mexico City Aztecs, who are 2-0 and starting off hot. I'm your play-play play commentator, Andy Hamilton, and today do we have a great contest for you. The 2-0 Mexico City Aztecs welcome the 1-1 Sioux Falls Sparrows to town. Here is a look at the starting lineups for the Mexico City Aztecs at home wearing their all-black uniform. Sioux Falls comes into town on the heels of a win against Alaska at the last minute. They had to do all that they could to get the win, and they did so, and improved to 1-1, one and, one, and we'll look to continue that winning streak here after the coin toss. So let's line it up. Cole Varner will put the ball down and Sioux Falls will look to return it here in Mexico. Ball on the tee, Sioux Falls wearing white and the kick is away. The game is underway, SFL Nation. The return from the five will be brought out across the 25, across the 30, pushing a man down to the 40 and all the way to the 45, A.J. Levy starts the Sioux Falls Sparrows off with great field position. And I thought he might have been breaking that one to go. It was a great return, and now Julian Tyree in the offense for the Sparrows will benefit from it. Two receivers, bottom of your screen, both silvers for them, and Kevin Clancy in the backfield. Tyree under center will fake to Clancy. Play action across the middle. Got a first down completion. I believe that's Michael Moore on the reception, number 88. Moore has yet to get involved in comparison to Jalen Miller. They are both still trying to replace Jordan Jennings who went by way to San Antonio. But a good completion there to Michael Moore for the first down and Sioux Falls is already in Aztec territory. Tyree will spread out four receivers and dropped a pass. Deep drop, swings it out to Clancy on the right side. Clancy has a little bit of room and fights forward for eight to the 35. A nice pick up there on first down. And so far, Sioux Falls moving and shaking just how Jason McGee would like him to do. Clancy is averaging 5.7 yards per carry, 206 yards and three touchdowns for the gold running back for the Sparrows. They'll give it to him here on second down. Off the left side, Clancy's got enough of the first down, got a little bit of room. Clancy, gonna fight, and fumbles, and it's out of bounds at the two, and Mexico City was ever so close to coming up with a turnover that would have stopped the Sparrows dead in their tracks. Kevin Clancy got to hold on to the ball better here. Off the tackle, gets a good block there. The ref gets a little bit in his way, and Clancy rumbles down, and it's number 29, Pablo Zamora, who's able to pop that ball out, and unlucky bounce for the Aztecs, and Sioux Falls will hold on to the ball. Zamora, 19 tackles this season, one pass deflected, one tackle for loss, and add a forced fumble to that. From the two, first and goal with one second over 10 minutes left in the first. A handoff to Clancy up the gut. Clancy strikes and Sioux Falls is on the board first, 6 nothing. Clancy his fourth touchdown this season so far and he's able to convert there with 10 minutes left in the first quarter to put the Sparrows on top. Number 
Snap down, hold is up and through, 7-0, the Sparrows on top, and Jason McGee has got to love that one as the Sparrows strike quickly and strong, and now Mexico City will have to answer. Cameron Irvine will do his best in the chat to keep you updated on the other two games that are live on Rabbit. And we have the kickoff game here on YouTube. Two more games coming later, and then Cameron Irvine is on the call for the 500th game in SFL history. The return will come out to the 35, a decent return for Devin Cabrera there, the free safety. And now we will get to look at the Mexico City Aztecs offense. Matt Wilson leads them out. Wilson actually playing um, better than Tyree in some respects. He has five touchdowns to four interceptions this season and will look to stay on the positive side of that passing ratio. Wilson under center has Ray Bentley, the big man, and they'll give it to him in the backfield. Ben Bentley dances around, finds a boot. Bentley off the left side. He's gone. No one's going to touch that man. Touchdown, Aztecs. In the Aztecs strike quickly and are able to answer Sioux Falls. One play, and it is, I think, about 65 yards for Ray Bentley, who has just continued to tear up the SFL this season in his first season as a goal. Bentley is fourth touchdown, able to evade the one tackler who was able to get hands on him and just takes off after that. Bobby Carpenter was the one who had a wrap on him, but Bentley shakes out of that, and we'll see you later, big man. The gold back puts Mexico City on the board and answers the Sparrows. Cole Varner will come on to add the extra point. And with 9.44 left in the first, I've used about all of the voice I was saving up from vacation. Hold down. Varner puts it through. 7 all. An incredible run there by Ray Bentley. And that man has had quite the season so far. We'll see if he'll be able to keep up that production. Varner will tee it up. Levy's back to return. He had a good return on the first opening kickoff. Let's see what he can do with this one. From the goal line, heels on the paint. Levy will bring it out. Gets stacked up behind some defenders, and he'll only get to the 25. So back comes out Julian Tyree. Clancy was the run who run, ran in the touchdown. Michael Moore and Jalen Miller are the two silver receivers for the Sparrows. And like I said before, they're trying to replace Jennings, who has had a struggling season in San Antonio, but Sioux Falls is struggling more without him here at the one and one record. Tyree under center will fake to the fullback and hand it to Clancy and he's wrapped up, going nowhere. The defense, Chase Story, the outside linebacker, puts on a show and a clinic there for the Sparrows offensive lineman and wraps up Clancy on the misdirection. So the chat down on the right side of the browser will have the scores from the other games. Oklahoma City and Dallas and Atlanta and St. Louis are both in competition right now. Tyree, handoff, Clancy, and Chase Story, is, or excuse me, that was Daniel Garcia. Sorry, I saw the two, got excited, thought it was 57. Daniel Garcia, the other outside linebacker, is in the backfield, able to make the play, and now Sioux Falls is facing a long third down after their opening drive looked like a hot butter going to knife. Tyree in the shotgun, four receivers split out, short drop, throwing deep across the middle, nearly picked off. It was Pablo Zamora who was in the area, able to put the ball to the turf. That's Zamora's second pass deflection. And he's had quite the game so far. A pass deflection and a forced fumble. Moholt will come on to kick this one away for the Sparrows. And Mexico City's defense gets a stop. And the Aztecs get the ball back.
The return will go to the 46. And back comes out the Mexico City offense, led by Matt Wilson, obviously. K.L. Barrett, excuse me, Richard Montague, and Dijon Swain are Swan. It's either Swan or Swain, again, are on the field for them. Ryan Mixon is the tight end, or Moxon, excuse me. And he is the really the star of this offense in the receiving game. Quick throw from Wilson, dumps it off 4-7. A nice completion there to Dijon Swan. Swan. Swain, dang it. I thought I would have had it by now, Matt. Deshaun Swain is able to pick up seven for the Aztecs to the 47. And then Ray Bentley introduced himself to you earlier. That was only the second play for the Aztecs from scrimmage. And with eight minutes left here in the first quarter, it's a seven-all ball game. Wilson under center. Counter to Bentley who gets slammed to the turf. Nothing doing as Braden Smith comes across and smacks him down. The defensive unit for Sioux Falls, not as heavily touted in the star category as they were last season. Christopher Dodd, A.J. Levy are the safeties. Adam Okoye and Nick Pop are the cornerbacks. And then the linebacking core has Ajamu Afolabi coming over. This is first game in his return to Mexico City. Alex Parker and Braden Smith. Wilson looking deep, and it's picked off coming the other way. A.J. Levy gets the interception, and he's had himself quite a game so far. And Sioux Falls takes the ball back. Matt Wilson throwing his fifth interception of the season, and that'll leave it him out at one for one. It looks to me like Levy here reads that the tight end is going deep, and he's able to just cover him well. Ryan Moxon was going for the slant route way deep, and usually that doesn't pull the safety, but when you're working against a gold, Levy sees that well. First and 10 from the 37. Tyree is in the shotgun after getting a second chance at a drive. Tyree hands off Clancy up the middle. Nothing doing the Mexico City defense gets in the way. We'll introduce you to that defense. Chase Story, the silver outside linebacker. King Wallace and Joey Lynn are the cornerbacks. Pablo Zamora and Devin Cabrera are the safeties. Tyree under center, handoff to Clancy off the right side. Clancy gets through one tackle, but not able to break the second one, and it'll be third and nine for the Sparrows. And that's not good as the center, Chuck Allen, is down with an injury, and they will go ahead and call the medical unit on. There's a look at Jason McGee, one and one for the Sparrows, and it looks like uh, the center was coming out to block Devin Cabrera, and apparently Cabrera was able to injure the big man. Third and nine. Tyree in the shotgun. Four receivers split out. A 3-2 look for the Mexico City Aztecs. Snap is a little high. Tyree corrals it. Throws the corner route. It's batted up and picked off. Coming the other way. That one went, I think, as the highest batted ball I have ever seen as he was looking for Amir. And Gerardo Chavez, I believe, was the... Man able to get underneath it and bring it down for the pick, number 36. Amir here was running the corner route, gets a little bit of a glitch going at him. Joey Lynn was the one who was able to bat it up. And then he gets stepped on twice just for good measure. And Mexico City takes the ball back, no need for a punt. So Mohol able to sit on the sidelines and drink some Kool-Aid. And with six minutes and 43 seconds left here in the first quarter, it's nothing but highlights as Andrew makes apparent. Wilson in the shotgun, looking to throw. Quick throw, left side, got a man! One-handed snag. What a throw and catch. That one was K.L. Barrett who's able to haul it in with the paw. K.L. Barrett, the gold star, able to just run a go route here, and Wilson finds the man, the one-handed paw there right in front of Adam Okoye is able to bring it in and the Aztecs move the chains on first down. Hey. 
So at the Sioux Falls 33, the Aztecs looking to get into field goal range at least here, and hopefully a little bit more if you're Matt Wilson. Matt Wilson dropping, moves to avoid the pressure, and throws the screen pass over to Moxon. Moxon would have been better to drop that, to be honest with you, because he lost four yards, and now it'll be second and 14. Moxon has 12 catches, 194 yards, and two touchdowns, is 10th in the SFL in receiving, and kind of gets overshadowed at the tight end position by Tiberius Bovine in the great season he's been having, but for Mexico City, Moxon is the man at tight end. Wilson now will face second and long and will be under center. Five-step drop, looking down the middle, batted away. A good defensive stand by the Sparrows, and that might have been A.J. Levy who was able to get underneath it. Alex Parker there applied the pressure for Matt Wilson, and now it'll be third and long from the 36. From here, it would be a 52-yarder for Cole Varner, the bronze kicker, and that's exactly why Ramos Lynn and Matt Wilson allocated those funds to the kicking unit, so... They might be able to convert from here, but I'm sure Matt Wilson would love to pick up a few more yards, if not the first down. From the shotgun, Wilson throwing the bronze bomber down a man. It's Moxon into the end zone, and Mexico City takes the lead. On third and long, the bronze bomber finds a man, gets a little help from the referee as Levy was... <laughs> Picked off, or uh, picked a little bit, like a basketball move by the referee, and Moxon is able to find his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So Wilson makes up for the earlier interception. Kick is up and through 14-7. Mexico City leads at home. Varner will tee it up, and A.J. Levy, the strong safety, is back to return. Levy taking over the return duties after Jace Jefferson leaves for Dallas in the offseason. And so far, Sioux Falls having the better record this season. Dallas 0-2 is taking on Oklahoma City today. Levy will angle it to the left side and get to the 26 and that is where Sioux Falls will come back out onto the field right now without Alistair Amir who was the receiver who went down on that interception. Tyree, four receivers split out. Clancy in the backfield. 3-3 three, three, nickel look from the Aztecs. Tyree, short drop, quick throw, right side. Clancy plows through two and is able to pick up six on the reception. So the center for Sioux Falls, who went down earlier, has broken the kneecap and he will not return to this game. Somehow I think they'll get it fixed up for next week, though. Second and four from the 32 for the Sioux Falls Sparrows. They're going to have a different lineman at the center spot considering that each SFL franchise only carries one center. Tyree, handoff, left side. Clancy's got a block. Clancy has a first down to the 40 before the Aztecs are able to bring him down. Pablo Zamora was able to wrap him up for... The tackle, 40 yards for Clancy, but that early interception still haunts him. Despite the touchdown, he was able to score as the ball bounced out of bounds. And Cam brought up a good point earlier that that ball nearly bounced out of the back for a touchback, and how different would this game be had it done that? Tyree under center, heavy backfield, handoff, Clancy right side. Clancy's got a lot of room! But Pablo Zamora is able to close on him and even bring him down before the first down. A nine and a half yard gain for Kevin Clancy as it'll be second and inches from midfield. Right. 
from midfield, second and inches. Three backs in the backfield and an offside. So Sioux Falls picks up the first down as Clancy falls forward for two. Chase Store, or excuse me, um, might have been Cade Bailey on the tackle. The offsides, however, will give them a five yard first down. They'll go ahead and accept that to the 45. So Sioux Falls into Mexico City territory as Romero was the one who jumped offside to the defensive end. Tyree under center. Two receivers split out, four down linemen. Tyree to throw. Looking deep, left side, nearly picked off. What a play. He was looking for Jalen Miller. Amir also, ironically, has broken the kneecap. So two broken kneecaps for the Sparrows. But Joey Lynn was able to catch up to Jalen Miller there, the speedy receiver, and dive to make the near interception. A great pass deflection. And Sioux Falls will have to face a second down. More score updates. St. Louis up 14-7 over Atlanta in the second quarter. Tyree, quick throw on the out route, has got the completion to Jalen Miller for five. That'll make it third and manageable. Miller, that'll be his 11th catch on the season for 162 yards. Add those five there, that'll make 167. Tyree's rating, 28, which is two, two points shy of how many yards he has in the game. Tyree dropping, throws, middle of the field. Got Jalen Miller able to pick up the first down to the 23. Working right in front of Joey Lynn, kind of making him pay for that pass deflection he had earlier on the slant route. And Zamora, if he would have read that correctly, he would have been able to get right in the front. Tyree under center, three receivers split out. And off Clancy. Clancy will be brought down by the first man, but not before pulling him forward for seven. It was Gerardo Chavez who had the interception earlier, the generic player. And Clancy able to push forward and make it second and short. Tyree in the shotgun, two receivers, bottom of the screen, Clancy to his left. Mexico City brings the blitz. The handoff to Clancy won't go forward. It'll go backwards. A loss of one, third and four as the Aztecs swarmed to that one. Joey Lynn was able to bring him down. Tyree under center, two receivers, top of the screen, two in the backfield. They need four for the first down. Easily field goal range, but the handoff will go to Clancy. Clancy fights through a bunch of tackles and is able to pick up the first down right in front of Chase Story, the outside linebacker who's had such a great year. Clancy, I believe, had to fight off three or four tackles to make that first down. A huge carry for him as he was able to convert. And from the 11... Sioux Falls can pick up the first down without getting in the end zone. Tyreek, swing, out to Clancy. Clancy slapped down by the first man there. Joey Lynn able to bring him down with the good wrap-up and limit the catch to a yard. So we are still a minute and a half away from the end of the first quarter here. Meanwhile, Atlanta is 427 away from halftime as they strike to tie St. Louis. Tyree dropping. Another swing out to Clancy. He's got one blocker but had to back up to make the catch. And he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no further than that, Joey Lynn does a good job again of protecting his side of the field. And now it'll be third and nine for the Sparrows. From the 10, Tyree 
Five step drop, looking, plenty of time, throws, middle of the field, batted away. Tyree was denied by King Wallace, the bronze cornerback, and they're gonna have to bring on the kicking unit to try and make this a four point game. Max Moho on to kick this one through, and it'll be about a 26 yard chip shot. the hold Moholt the kick is through from 27 and it'll be 10 to 14 Sioux Falls trails by four with 36 seconds left in the first quarter Mexico City gets the ball back, and here will come the return for the Aztecs. They will bring the ball out to the 29. Cabrera on the return for that one. And Ramos makes a good point. Uh, Mexico City not having the ball nearly as long as they'd like to. That time of possession has got to be low. They're averaging 32 and a half points per game on offense. Ironically, the exact same amount that Sioux Falls is at. Handoff, Bentley. Bentley is second carry of the game is good for five. I believe he, that might be the third. But the big one for 60 is what's pulling his average up to what it is so far. Wilson will go under center for the last play of the first quarter. And it'll be a handoff to Bentley off the left side. Bentley plows through one. Bentley's got a little bit of room to the 46. And that will end the first quarter of play. 14 to 10 here in Mexico as the Aztecs lead and have the ball. Ray Bentley plowing through tackles before A.J. Levy can bring him down. For SFL Network, I'm Andy Hamilton. The second quarter follows. Second quarter of action, Wilson dropping to throw. Out route, good for four. Nice hands by Richard Montague, who's able to bring in the catch. Fourteen ten, Mexico City getting a win over Vancouver in week one here in this stadium, and they're trying to make it 2-0 on the season at home. An action-packed first quarter leads us to the score that we have here now, 14 to 10. And the handoff will go to Bentley. Bentley has a little bit of room and will fight forward for seven to the 43, a first down for the Aztecs. And the fans here are loving it as they break into Sparrow territory. Ray Bentley averaging a second best in the league, 8.3 yards per carry, and that's got to be going up with the way that he's been running today against this Sioux Falls defense. Handoff to Bentley again, feed the man. He'll go up the gut for three before the Sioux Falls defense can bring him down.
Handoff, Bentley, right side, got a little bit of room on the sweep, and he's able to plow forward and get within an inch of the first down marker. Are you an SFL player? If you're new to the league or haven't joined yet, make sure to join our Discord community at simulationfl.net and be a star. Free agents can join a team as a free agent through week eight, so if you're not a player, don't waste any time. Start your career today. Hashtag be a star. On third and inches, Wilson is going for it all, and that'll be incomplete. It was Adam Okoye back in coverage. He bats it to the turf, and now it'll be fourth and inches. And Ramos Lynn has a tough decision to make here, whether to kick for the field goal or not. From the 34, the field goal would be about a 50-yarder. Instead, Ramos will lead the off or leave the offense, excuse me, on the field. Three receivers split out, and they're going to try and get Sioux Falls to jump, and it works. Ray Bentley gets hammered down before he can get to the first down marker, but the offsides will move the chains for the Aztecs as the Sioux Falls defensive line could not hold steady. The neutral zone infraction was on Marcellus Morton. Morton able to jump off sides and give a first down to the opponent not something you want to be remembered for in a game especially not a Sioux Falls Sparrows game as Alex Parker the linebacker I believe jumped off sides a lot last season and ended up having to make the move to linebacker from defensive end Wilson handoff and Sioux Falls read that the entire way getting into the backfield is Braden Smith who's able to make the tackle on Ray Bentley. Let's go. Bentley averaging 12 yards a carry, but that did not help him there. Sparrows reading that one the whole way. On second and 12, Wilson will be in the shotgun flanked by two backs. He will throw it out of the backfield to Moxon, who loses six more yards, and the Aztecs are going the wrong way. That's the second screen to Moxon going backwards. I don't understand with plays like that how he's the 10th best receiver in the league right now. So third and long for the Bronze Bomber. Last time it was third and long. He threw a touchdown dime to Moxon. Let's see what happens here from the 36. Wilson will take a seven-step drop. Looking deep down the field again. Got a man. Touchdown. K.O. Barrett was the man for Matt Wilson. A perfect route getting behind the defense and able to strike as Mexico City adds to their lead. And I don't want to say called it, but I think I called it. K.L. Barrett here runs the post route perfectly, getting just behind A.J. Levy and able to find his way into the end zone. And Estadio Azteca is rocking. Farner on to add the extra point. The boot is up and through 21 to 10. Mexico City on top of Sioux Falls here. The 2-0 Aztecs are showing why they are the better ranked power rankings team going into this week. If you haven't, Cameron Irvine just mentioned we hit 600 subscribers on YouTube, but make sure you subscribe to the SFL on YouTube as well. You're notified when we go live and you'll have access to over a thousand videos seamlessly through the YouTube app. We'll be live Sundays at 3 Central 4 Eastern and Sunday through Tuesday at 7 Central 8 Eastern. Don't Make sure you don't miss a minute of SFL action. Subscribe on YouTube by hitting the red button below this video here.
the penalty will back up the Sparrows to the 16, and that's not what you'll want after giving up a touchdown, is bad field position to start off your next drive. Tyree under center, two receivers and Clancy in the backfield. Mexico City showing blitz from all fronts. They'll back out of it and bring four. Tyree in the pocket, got plenty of time, finds a man to the left side, it's picked off! It went through the hands of number 89 and right into the hands of King Wallace and Mexico City has the ball back. Miles Portis was the one who couldn't bring in the catch and Wallace just sat on this route. Look at that, he basically hands it to him and then number 80, J.J. McGee, is the one who has to end up making the tackle. And everything is going right for Mexico City so far here in Mexico. Wilson under center will drop, short drop, quick throw, nearly gave it right back to Sioux Falls as A.J. Levy was headhunting for the ball. Seven thirty-one left here in the half. 21 to 10, Mexico City on top and with the ball and with one of the best backs in the SFL, you've got to imagine that they're looking to hand it to Bentley instead. On second down, Wilson will throw, in zone, touchdown! KL Barrett again, two times in 10 minutes of real life time and he strikes again the bronze bomber to KL Barrett and Mexico City pushes their lead forward again. right in front of the free safety, Christopher Dodd. And what a throw and catch. So with 7.27 left, Mexico City increases their lead to 18 over the Sparrows. Turn will come out to the 28, and that is where Sioux Falls will take over. At the 28, 722 left. Tyree throwing left side, got Miller, able to pick up nine and seven, seven uh, tenths, we'll say, and it'll be second and inches. So Matt Wilson so far playing an incredible game, 123 yards, three touchdowns. Tyree, on the other hand, playing a terrible game, trying to make up for it here before the half. Quick throw on the nice route there by J.J. McGee, who makes up for the drop of Portis and the tight end room there. Tyree in the shotgun, two backs will flank him. 
Nickel 3-3 for the Aztecs. Tyree to throw, looking deep down the middle, picked off again. Tyree, another interception. This time, it's Devin Cabrera, and the Aztecs have the ball back. Nice grab by Cabrera, who was waiting in coverage, and the rich get richer for Mexico City. Wilson throwing the out route, got the man, a nice throw there to Richard Montague, who's able to drag the feet at the 47, and Mexico City clearly will not run the clock out, they're looking for points. And Jason McGee is going to go ahead and challenge that. A frustrating day for the Sparrows, and he will try and keep that one from being a catch at the 47. It looked to me at full speed like he got the feet down. The throw was on the out route, and it looks like Monaghan got the foot down there. It was right in front of the Sioux Falls sidelines, though, so McGee might have had a better look at it. After review, the pass has been ruled incomplete. The catch was made out of bounds. The Sparrows will not be charged with a timeout. Second down. And the field is going to overturn that, so Mexico City will face second and ten. Like I said, it looked to me in full speed like it was a good completion, but it was not. Wilson in the shotgun. Wilson looking to throw. Good protection, and he will dump it off across the middle, but not able to grab on to get to it was Montague there. Wilson, deep drop, throwing right side, same route there, and Montague's able to bring that one in. First down to the 45, a huge throw for Wilson, who's 10 of 15 today. Wilson handoff, Bentley up the middle. Bentley's knifing through the defense and is able to pick up seven to the 49. St. Louis retakes the lead in the third quarter, facing Atlanta, looking for their first win. And Bentley here is a good friend to winning, 2-0 this season as a gold halfback, and he surpasses the 50 into Sioux Falls territory. Wilson handoff, Bentley's got the first down and more. Bentley into the open field, finds the corner and gets to the 35 before he's flipped upside down by Lennox Sanders, the defensive tackle. What a run by Bentley. And it was Moxon out there in front of him blocking and Moxon does a good job of clearing the way for Ray Bentley to move the ball to the 35. off Bentley again Bentley will pick up four hundred and twenty yards on eleven carries and it 
it'll be second and six for Matt Wilson and the offense. Wilson handoff, mixed direction to the left side, and I believe that was Alex Parker in the backfield. No, excuse me. It was uh, 98, Ajamu Alpha Lobby, the former Aztec, who was reading that one from Bentley the whole way. That must have been a play from last year that Alpha Lobby saw in practice enough times. Alpha Lobby returns to Mexico City here. This is second season of play, moving over to Sioux Falls in the offseason. Wilson, left side, got a man out of bounds before he can pick up the first down is Dijon Swan. Afalabi has 17 tackles, three for loss this season coming into today's game. And I would assume, excuse me, I would assume that he's just going to keep that up. And Varner will come on to add a field goal and surpass 30 points for the Aztecs in the opening half of play. The kick is away from Varner and through from 45. The bronze kicker makes it 31 to 10. Three twenty-five left, and Sioux Falls needs a spark. Down after a 21-point run. Or, excuse me, a 17-point uh, run. The return from Levy will go to the 24, so decent field position for the Sparrows to start out here, running the three-minute offense. Tyree under center. Two receivers top of the screen. Two backs in the backfield. Tyree drops to throw. Looking deep down the middle of the field. Going for it all on one play. And Miller was well guarded there by Nick Pop. Or excuse me. Uh, looking at the wrong side of the screen. Devin Cabrera. 25 for the Aztecs. Not the Sparrows on the defense. And Cabrera read that one the whole way. Able to put two hands on it. And nearly come up with another interception on Tyree. Three down linemen for the Aztecs, three linebackers as Tyree brings four receivers to the field and Clancy fakes the hands off, hand off to Clancy. Play action throw, caught for the first down. A nice toss there from Julian Tyree. Finds Michael Moore down the middle of the field and Moore able to find the seam to pick up the first down. A nice play action there by Tyree. Fools the defense just enough to find more in the middle of the field right in front of Pablo Zamora. So a first down to the 42. Little under three minutes to play here in the half. 4-3 look from the Aztecs. Hand off Clancy. Clancy up the gut. Clancy plows through one and gets rattled down. A nice hit by King Wallace. That man having quite the game so far and able to stop Clancy three yards shy of the yellow line. That one goes up the gut for the first down to the 44. A nice carry there by Ke or, uh, excuse me, not Kevin Clancy. Who was that on the carry? Two-minute warning here in Mexico, 31-10. The Sparrows have dug themselves a hole and are going to try and find a way out of this one. Two minutes to play in the half. 
before we head to the halftime break. Tyree, two receivers, bottom of your screen, looking to throw it. He'll throw the out route. That'll be incomplete. Miller's feet were out of bounds. Three catches today for Jalen Miller. Not nearly the day he's used to having, as the Aztecs so far have locked up the passing game for the Sparrows. Tyree under center, changing the play at the line. Three receivers, and Clancy will face six men in the box for the Aztecs. Throwing left side, got a man for six. That's a good catch. Hauling it in was Michael Moore on the out route. The defense chant here going in Mexico City. Tyree in the shotgun on third down. Throws, cross the middle, got a man who's smacked down. It's Jalen Miller who gets popped across the middle but makes the completion and holds on. Joey Lynn applied the hit after the catch and the Sparrows are down to the 23. Tyree under center now. Mexico City will rush four and get the sack. The pressure coming from, I believe that was Maruccio Zita. Zita able to make the tackle. And it'll be a loss of six. Swinging it out to Clancy now in the hurry up. Clancy will regain a yard of that. And now it'll be third and long for Julian Tyree. Wilson is the third and long champion here. Two deep touchdown completions on third and long and now Tyree on the other end of the field will try and capitalize with some of the same magic. Four receivers split out. Clancy back in the backfield. Tyree to throw under pressure. Tyree will go down. A sack there and a nice one. Coming from Alonzo Frederick, the inside linebacker for the Mexico City Aztecs, and that forces Sioux Falls off the field, most likely with no points as it would be a 50-yarder. However, we might see Jason McGee willing to try it considering the lack of points in that department heading into the half, and he will do just that. So a 50-51-yarder for Max Mohold, the generic kicker. Willie Beeman will hold it. Kick away, angled, high, long, and he got it from 51. The generic kicker adds three points for the Sparrows, and that cuts the lead down. That'll cut the lead to 18, 31, 13. Mexico City still on top, has 58 seconds and all three timeouts to try and get more points on the board before the half. The return here, spinning, spinning, still on his feet. Coming down to the left side is Devin Cabrera. Cabrera's in the open field and he'll go. Devin Cabrera, kick return, touchdown. And Mexico City answers. Devin Cabrera had to use all the spin moves in the world to find his way to the end zone on that one and he does just that. One, two, try a third one. How about a fourth? And the Tornado Man himself, Devin Cabrera, finds his way to the end zone, and Mexico City hits pay dirt. Touchdown, Aztecs.
Varner adds the extra point. It'll now be 38 to 13. Mexico City in a commanding lead. With 44 seconds left, and if you're Sioux Falls, that was one thing you couldn't let happen. As the highlight train in Mexico rolls forward, choo-choo all aboard. The return from A.J. Levy, still 40 seconds to play in the first half. Levy to the 27, or, yeah, Levy to the 27. Sorry, I thought Okoye might have been the return man on that one. It was not. It was Levy. Tyree in the shotgun, two receivers to the top of the screen, four down linemen for the Aztecs. Tyree, handoff Clancy, Clancy right side, bottled up, nothing doing. Joey Lynn still protecting that left sideline. He's had Kevin Clancy's name all day long. 5.4 yards per carry is not bad, but not when you put it up against um, the running back Ray Bentley, who has 10 yards per carry today. Time continues to tick as Sioux Falls seems content to just let this one roll to the half. 40, or excuse me, 52 points scored here in the first half of play in Mexico City. Clancy, another carry off the right side, and that will just about do it. We'll see after the half. Mexico City and, or excuse me, a timeout by Sioux Falls at the 31. Apparently they want one more play out of this game. So on third and six, Jason McGee wants the team to prove that they have a little bit of fight left in them here in the first half. And it'll be a handoff to Clancy up the gut and nothing doing. That'll take us to the halftime break. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Andy Hamilton. Mexico City up 38-13. We'll see you after the break.
back in Mexico City. The Aztecs having quite the first half there. 38 points scored. Sioux Falls struggling to keep up, and now they have to kick it back to the Aztecs. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Andy Hamilton. SFL Network, two other games going on simultaneously. So check those out if you love SFL football. The return from Cabrera. He's already got one return for a touchdown today. He'll bring that one out to the 30. The other two games are in the fourth quarter, and we here are just breaking into the second half. Mexico City to throw. The dump off to Bentley off the left side will be good for four yards to the 34. Matt Wilson adding on to his receiving yards to er, throwing yards total, 143 yards receiving for the Aztecs today. the gut will pick up the first down to the 41. A nice carry by Bentley who's having himself quite a day. It all got started with Bentley up the middle. Wilson under center, three receivers split out, four down linemen, handoff again to Bentley, who's plowing through men now, and it'll take A.J. Levy to bring him down. Five-yard pickup for Orbdad himself. Wilson under center, handoff, Bentley right side, Bentley first down and more, Bentley through another man, it'll take number 98, Ajamu Afolabi coming over to bring down the former, or the current Aztec, 9.9 .9 yards per carry for Ray Bentley, and the run game in Mexico City just as strong as the pass game. under center, 9.05 in the third, handoff, Bentley right side, stop, starts again, Bentley with a blocker, Bentley into the open field, first down, finds the corner, gets to the 19, Ray Bentley putting on a showcase for these Sparrows as they were without a running back last season and Ray Bentley, the gold running back here for Mexico City is showing Kevin Clancy how it's done. So Ray Bentley and the Aztecs all the way down to the 19. Sioux Falls trying to stop him. Has three linebackers in. Only six men in the box for the Sparrows. And this time they're able to get him behind the line. A nice bring down by number 92, Mike Doss, the defensive end. If you have not, make sure you hit that like button. The SFL Today Show is coming later, as well as two more games on Rabbit. And the 500th game called by the commissioner, Cameron Irvine himself, is live tonight here, 7 Central, 8 Eastern time. Wilson stands in the pocket, throws left side to Bentley, who fights through one tackle, and it'll take two more guys to bring him down at the 19 as he breaks into the SFL red zone. 
SFL fans, are you interested in spreading the word about a truly revolutionary product? Help the SFL by joining our social media marketing team. Experienced social media candidates can turn this into a paid staff position. Contact Cameron Irvine, our commissioner, for more details on Discord at, at SFL Commish. Wilson looking in zone, got a man, touchdown, and Mexico City continues to pile it on here at home. Ryan Moxon with the touchdown. So Ray Bentley moves the ball for short yardage and bursts of 10 and 12 yards, and then Matt Wilson goes over the top and finds Moxon for the score, 44-13, the Aztecs heavily on top. <laughs> Varner adds the extra point, 45 to 13 as Ryan Moxon is able to pull in his second touchdown of the day. He scored in the first quarter to give the Aztecs their first lead and look how that has progressed. The score then was 14 to 7. Sioux Falls has added two field goals and Mexico City has added quite the plethora of points. And here's the return by Levy. Levy had a good opening kickoff return, and this one is not going to get much further than the 22 as the Aztecs were able to pile him down. Clancy, 4.9 yards per carry is a good average. Unfortunately, Tyree has been giving the ball back to the Aztecs too many times. Tyree looking to throw. He'll swing it out to Clancy on the right side. Clancy moves forward, and he'll pick up a yard out of the backfield. Or, excuse me, that was Freddie Fox, the fullback. So Matt Wilson is right. The Aztecs have the number two power ranking this week, and they're looking to maintain that. And with a 44 to 13 score line in the third quarter, they might do just that. Tyree puts the ball on the turf, and luckily Sioux Falls is able to fall on it. That one could have been real bad as the pressure was applied by Johnny Summers. Or, excuse me, Romero's. I keep looking at the wrong side, and I'll tell you why it is. On my sheet, I have Sioux Falls written in black, but Mexico City is wearing black, so that doesn't help me much there. Tyree under center, four receivers split out. Tyree throwing across the middle, got a man. And that'll make it fourth and five. And with the score line, I would just go ahead and punt this away. And Jason McGee might start looking towards next week. Devin Cabrera able to bring him down before the line to gain. A nice catch there for Michael Moore, who's quietly had a decent day. And they'll do just that. Moholt will be on to punt this one away with six minutes left in the third quarter. Snapback boot is to it. It's a high one angled towards the middle. And they will bring the return out to the 38. So the Aztec offense, who couldn't run the clock out even if they wanted to, the way that Ray Bentley has been running, are going to have to try and siphon off some of this clock. And they're actually sending out the backup quarterback. Did I see that right? Are they going to put Be Matt Wilson on the bench? No, they did bring out Wilson. Razan's there was trying to make his plea, Raphael. Shotgun formation. And Wilson to throw. Wilson looking left side, batted around, bobbled incomplete. Sioux Falls had too many guys in the area, and none of them could bring that one down for an interception. JT Lane had the hands on it originally, and it went over the head 
of everyone, Wilson was looking for Moxon again. Bentley in the backfield on second and ten. You gotta think that they're considering giving him the handoff. They won't. Wilson to throw. Looking left side. Got a man. Good for seven. A nice completion there to KL Barrett. Barrett, four receptions in today's game, two of which are touchdowns. That's an incredible stat line. KL Barrett got to be considered in the players of the week. I'm looking at you, Steve. Wilson to throw, third and three under pressure. Throws off his back foot, nearly caught. He was looking for Montague, and Wilson had to get out of the way there and just ended up heaving one that went straight to the ground. Fourth and three, no harm, no foul. Alex Lopez will come on for what seems like the first punt for the Aztecs all day. Just some perspective for you here, Atlanta and St. Louis is down to the fourth quarter with a minute and 52 left to play, and we here are still five minutes away from the end of the third. Quite a game there. If you want to open a second tab and open up the rabbit page, that would probably be a good bet. Oklahoma City and Dallas is also in the fourth quarter. However, that one not as close. Dallas appears to be in position to get their first win, but I'm sure Oklahoma City is not out of that one. From the 24, Tyree back on the field, not having nearly the day he would have liked. Hand off to Clancy. Clancy has a big hole on the left side. He'll pick up eight. And Zamora will add a fifth tackle. Second and two for the Sparrows. Handoff, Clancy, right side, Clancy lowers the shoulder, won't get there, shy by a yard. Good pursuit by the Aztecs, Zamora able to come up and lay the shoulder to him. For everything SFL, visit the league's new website, simulationfl.net, and explore our new partnership with PressStats. There's over 400 players and games in league history, and the league treats you with legendary status when you join the website. Contact Liam Crowder on Discord to find out how you can get involved and start writing for us on the website. You can also contribute to the weekly power rankings as well as check out stats and highlights, simulationfl.net. Fourth and four, and the Sparrows are going to have to punt this one away. Down by quite a bit. 32 is the difference as the punt will go to the Aztecs. And a good return there by Zamora, or excuse me, by Cabrera, who was able to spin out a one tackle. That man sure loves his spin moves. That's five on returns here. He already had the kick return earlier in the game and was looking to get going there again. Wilson uh, in the shotgun. Three receivers split out. Two backs in the backfield. Wilson to toss it. Moves up in the pocket. Throws down the middle. Picked off. And that's what you didn't want if you were the Aztecs. You wanted a clean sheet. Christopher Dodd jumps in the way of that one. He bit a little bit on the in route and then followed the seam and was able to pick up the slant by Diego Chavero. And Christopher Dodd gets the ball back for Tyree right. and the Sparrows with... Some of the best field position they've seen in this half at their own 30. Tyree under center. Three receivers split out. Three and a half minutes to play in the third. The handoff to Clancy. Clancy piled up and able to be brought down after picking up five to the 35. Number 36. 
So Sioux Falls completed the incredible comeback last week in Alaska. If you weren't able to watch that game, I would recommend subscribing to us on YouTube and going to find that one. There was a it was a called game, excuse me, and boy was it a good one last week. Tyree looking to throw, good pressure, and his throw to the outside was late, and Chavez able to bat that one down. He's looking for Miller, who was running a very slow route to the outside. And another third down for the Sioux Falls Sparrows here from the 35. They need the 40 and able to convert to, or in order to convert, excuse me, words are all jumbled. Tyree fakes the handoff, play action, well done. Thrown in, a drop in the bucket. What a throw and catch. Michael Moore able to bring that one in right next to a defender, and I thought that one was going incomplete for sure. Look at this, the in route is right there and he drops the dime in the bucket right next to Daniel Garcia. And Moore is able to snag it. Two twenty nine left, Tyree, three step drop down he goes. The Aztecs get the pressure they need and it's a sack for Moises Avila. Number 91, the defensive end. So more action today. Alaska heads to Vancouver. Carolina will head to Cleveland at 5 Central, 6 Eastern time. Baltimore will head to Queen City tonight at 7 Central, 8 Eastern with Cameron Irvine on the call. Tomorrow night we have Chicago heading to Tallahassee, the battle of two undefeateds as E.T. King returns to take on the Pride with Curtis on the call, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. And then Tuesday, I'm back on the call as the Vaqueros head to Houston. The return of Greg Corky, 7 Central, 8 Eastern, right here live on YouTube. Tyree throwing down the middle, got a man on second down, able to find their way down to the 35. It's Michael Moore again, finally getting some plays in here and able to bring in some catches at receiver. Miller is the leader on the team at the receiving spot, but Michael Moore is able to do decent here. Tyree, right side, Clancy is batted down. A nice tackle by Chase Story, who's able to go sideline to sideline and bring down Clancy before he even picks up a yard. Clancy handoff up the middle. Good for six as he fights his way through a few tackles. And that'll bring up third and four from the 29 as time ticks down here in the third. Atlanta defeats St. Louis 28 to 20 in a close one as Ty Tyree actually goes down there. A huge sack. Sorry to interrupt myself. I don't want to start two different threads here, but Moises Avila is able to bring down Tyree for the sack that go ahead and end the third quarter. For everyone here at SFL Network, I'm Andy Hamilton. One quarter to play, Mexico City. Strong arm in the game. The punt from Moholt will go out at the eight. And 
that is where the Aztecs will pick up where they left off. Sorry, I'll finish my thought here. Atlanta defeats St. Louis 28-20 in a very fought, close-fought battle. That game will be on our YouTube page shortly. And Mexico City is going to try and improve the 3-0 to keep pace with Atlanta. Bentley up the middle. Bentley knocks a man down. Able to fight his way to the 22. A huge carry from Ray Bentley as he closes in on 200 yards. Look at this. Bentley just lowers the shoulder. I'll see you later, Christopher Dodd. That was some interception you had earlier, but I'm the one getting the yards here. Throwing. Wilson got a man on the seam route. Right in front of Christopher Dodd again. They seem to be targeting him. It's Dijon Swain. Matt Wilson had to put a little mustard on that throw to Dijon. But Swain is able to bring it in. Wilson in the shotgun looking to throw. Left side nearly picked off. Sioux Falls wasn't able to get his hands on it. Wilson under center, three receivers split out. Bentley in the backfield. They'll give it to him off the left side. Bentley gets off tackle, and Dodd repays him a little bit for what he did to him earlier, but not before Bentley gets the better of six yards out of the Sparrows' defense. Wilson to throw, great pocket, throws it downfield, bottled and bobbled, excuse me, not bottled, that was Dijon Swain he was throwing to again, or Swan, excuse me. And Mexico City will have to punt it away to A.J. Levy. And the Sparrows are going to get the ball back here with about 9.18 left to play in the fourth quarter. Kick is away. Levy will return, but not before. Barely squeaking his way past the 20 to the 23. And he looks upset that he didn't get more yards there. Tyree under center, two backs in the backfield, two receivers split out. Mexico City showing blitz. Tyree drops to throw, deep drop, deep throw, bottled, bottled again. And incomplete, he was looking for Michael Moore deep down the center of the field. And Chase Story makes sure to introduce himself to Michael Moore and remind him which team is on top. Tyree will now line up in the shotgun. Four receivers split out from the 23. They need 10 for the first down. Nine minutes to play in the game. Tyree looking down the middle again. Incomplete looking for Miller this time. Nothing doing. The Sioux Falls receiving core has kind of been dominated by the Aztecs defensive back room. And the Aztecs need one more stop in order to get the ball back. And hopefully, for the love of goodness, they'll just hand it off to Bentley and 
Let that clock run down. Tyree to throw. Five-step drop. Moves up in the pocket. Throws on the run. Bottle babbled. Incomplete. Cabrera was there. Able to get some hands on it. I think nine players for the Aztecs touched that ball before it found the ground. Get the ball back, return to the 43. They have great field position after that stop. As Cabrera hands the ball back over to Matt Wilson and Ray Bentley. Hopefully, in terms of viewership and uh, time that we add to this game, those are the only two players to touch the ball for the Aztecs for this drive. Final in Oklahoma City, they get their first loss as Dallas defeats them 45-34. Wilson to throw for some reason, tosses it out to Bentley. Bentley threw one, able to pick up six on the reception. I think Matt Wilson is just trying to pad his passing yards. He is seven yards away from 200. Four touchdowns on the day for him, but he's got to be careful not to give any more interceptions to the Sparrows. Handoff, Bentley, left side, Bentley, first down, plows through a man, Bentley into the open field, and finally gets wrestled down by number 98, who had a touchdown saving tackle, Ajamu Afolabi, who's had Bentley's name all day, is able to break off his block and wrap up Bentley by seemingly the helmet. Wilson under center, Bentley in the backfield. Wilson will look to toss it again. Left side picked off. And that is what you needed to avoid if you were the Aztecs. It's Adam Okoye who's able to bring up the interception. The gold cornerback puts takes another one away from the Aztecs. K.L. Barrett was trying to showboat and get the one-hander. And Adam Okoye got in the way of it. Tyree, play action, looking left side, one-handed catch by Miller for six. Seven, 23 and counting to play left here in the fourth quarter. Three more games coming tonight as a full slate of SFL here in week three. Most likely outcome is Mexico City will move to 3-0. Sioux Falls will take a lump and move to 1-2, but definitely not out of the conversation in a very tight Western Conference. Tyree under center. Two receivers bottom of the screen. Four down linemen. Play action pass again, looking deep down the middle, batted around and incomplete, looking for Michael Moore, and they've ran that play four or five times today, and they'll have to punt. Go ahead, and in the chat, if you've watched all of the games today, which performance, who had the best performance of the day from a player, go ahead and leave your comments, and we'll go ahead and shout them out live here on air as I feel like I'm doing a circus loop on a 
Ferris wheel as these teams continue to punt and then Matt Wilson continues to throw interceptions. Wilson is still on the field here late in the fourth quarter. They decide not to send out Razans. Oh, good. Ray Bentley, Orb Dad, says that Ray Bentley has had the best day. Hand off Bentley up the middle there is good for 11. Somehow I feel like that is a, a very biased answer. I, I don't. I think you can take might out of the uh, out of the ant the comment there. Showtime. First and ten. From the The one thing I never understood about Mexico City is how I feel like every time Ramos Lynn and I watch a Mexico City game or I announce one. Every time they get up, Ramos Lynn is screaming, run, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. But then Matt Wilson will come to the sideline after an interception, and Ramos will send him back out with a pass play. That's so funny to me. Happens probably six to seven times a season, and I always feel bad for Ramos in the chat. But we love Matt. So, I guess he can get away with it. Wilson to throw. Hits Moxon out of the backfield. Moxon picks up the first down to the 30. So, the Sparrows will head home and try and regroup they've had a quite the road tilt here in Alaska last week the first win at the eye and then they flew all the way down to Mexico I don't know if that's some collusion there from Cam and trying to tire out the Sparrows players for the second half of the season but boy has he done it there Bentley gets walloped in the backfield they'll say he got back to the line one incomplete. Wilson was trying to throw it again. Mexico City was 17 points away from 1,500 points in franchise history coming into the game. They're eighth in league history and clearly with the score line that we have now have surpassed that number of 1,500 points. So congrats to Matt Wilson and Ramos Lynn, co-owners for Surpassing that number, a great milestone for the Mexico City Aztecs. Steven says Shabazz synergy so far with the best. 450 passing yards and, is that right, six touchdowns? Are you kidding me? Yeah, so far synergy wins it for me. How many interceptions, Steve? That's what I'm wondering. Fourth down for the Aztecs. My guess is from the 28th, they'll add a field goal and pour some salt in that wound. Speaking of salt, Mark Pep or uh, Tom Pepper is playing tonight. Vancouver has their first home game, so if you're interested in checking that out and you like bad puns, show up to that game on Rabbit. I'll be in the chat and I'll try and send as many as I can. Three interceptions. That's not too bad, Steve. Shabazz, Shabazz synergy so far is my player of the week, but still plenty of SFL action to come. Four minutes left in the fourth. Varner puts the boot to it, and it's through, adding the salt to that wound. 48-13, Mexico City on top. And that is the first score we've had since 7.40 in the third quarter. A very high-scoring first half, but not nearly as high-scoring in the second. Levy off the right side, tries a spin move of his own, and it'll work, getting him to the 27. 3.52 left to play. Jason McGee and the unit will go back and put on 
the uh, corrections. I'm sure there'll be a great team coming out next week. Um, Jason always knows what he's doing and is always a very strong owner and head coach here for the Sparrows. So I'm sure they will be just fine, but might take a day or two to get over this beat. Tyree, play action pass, got more down the seam, able to move the ball to the 46, and now they will go play action. Cameron Irvine is putting the remaining schedule in the chat, so if you are looking to see some more SFL action, check out those games. All times are central for that. Down the middle, picked off. Tyree has thrown another interception. It's number 32, who I don't even have a name for. 42, excuse me, that might help me a little bit. It's Ulysses Mora, the backup strong safety. Elijah a Rabbit is a small furry animal, um, usually known to beat on a drum and really likes batteries. No, it, that's the uh, the second website that we use to stream some of our games. Um, the links will be in the SFL Alerts page on Discord. Wilson hands off, and that's Bentley's backup finally in the game. Frank Sanchez is able to lose a yard. Congratulations, Frank, as... Braden Smith came up, and a long day for this Sioux Falls defensive unit, giving up 48 points, and Mexico City two points away from a 50-burger. Are any of you in the chat hungry? Because I am starving. Wilson under center. Time will continue to tick. And off Ben or er, not Bentley, excuse me. I, it's just a reflex at this point. Sanchez is smacked by Alex Parker. Let's go. Do you want to do what I do? If you're interested in joining the SFL as a play-by-play or color commentator. The league has open tryouts all season long on our Rabbit broadcast. Contact myself on Discord at Andy Hamilton for more information if you are interested in joining the fold of our broadcast team. We have gotten a few more applications this week and we're working on trying to get some of those guys into the commentary booth. Seeing some new faces here in the chat. Shan Varner, Marquise Reed have joined the, the game. Don't worry, you're just in time to see another punt. There you go. Cam is dropping uh, gems of stats in the chat. So if you're looking to find some cool new gems about Sioux Falls and their losses. Those are in the chat, and I'll, I'll actually say it for the uh, archive broadcast. Sioux Falls has the largest loss in their team history was 52-17 to against Queen City on April 2nd, 2017. So we're getting, I think we're real close. Yeah, it's the same point differential as this moment right here, is what Cam says. So we're gonna see here, there's a minute 46 as Tyree hits Jalen Miller on the four-yard out route. If uh, if Mexico City gets the ball back and goes for the 50-burger or not. Second and five. Tyree under center, two in the backfield. Minute 45 to play, short drop, quick throw, picked off. M Mexico City has another one. Who was it? Number 56, Carlos Powers is able to get his paws on it. The outside linebacker. Powers a diving pick. Way to lay out, son. The generics are trying to make their way to the starting lineup for the Aztecs. 
And now, Mexico City has their chance at a 50 burger. So the backup, Rafael Rezanes, is in the game. And he'll look to throw. Rezanes, plenty of time, moves up in the pocket, throws on the run, and complete, he was looking for Misael Lopez. Braden Smith in coverage. Clock stopped, 139. Some beautiful looks at Estadio Azteca, if you're interested in that. Three receivers split out for Razanes, who apparently knows how to audible just as well as Matt Wilson has. There'll be a handoff and nothing doing, and Sioux Falls will use their first time out. I wonder what the longest SFL game in history is. Like minutes wise. Minutes an hour. Cam might know that. Let, let's let's put a test to the commish. <laughs> Ramos asks if I'm ready for another punt. I am indeed, and from the 48, you guys will send out Alex Lopez, who will do just that. So Sioux Falls, luckily for us, is down to one timeout. Mexico City has all three, and Ramos, I swear, you better not use one. Kick is away from Lopez, down the middle of the field. High kick, and Levy won't get past the 16. Good coverage by Mexico City for most of the day. That opening kick was really the only one that kind of uh, scared me a little bit. So 124, 84 long seconds left to play in this game. Tyree will pitch it out to Clancy. Clancy will break one. And Chase Story will add another tackle to his stat line. They'll pitch it again to Clancy. And it looks like Jason has given me some mercy. Oh, nope, there's a timeout. I thought he might have decided to. He'll decide to stop the clock with 69 seconds. Real mature, Jason. Third and seven from the 20. Sioux Falls will need the 27 in order to convert. Tyree will be in the shotgun. Four receivers split out. Looking to toss it. Left side, got Jalen Miller. Feet down, one yard shy of the stripe. And decision time for Jason. 66 seconds. He got out of bounds, so that stopped the clock, because why wouldn't it? And the offense is going to remain on the field. Tyree will be under center. Clancy in the backfield with a fullback in front of him. Two receivers, bottom of the screen. Tyree to throw. He will throw the out route. Got it. Jalen Miller drags the feet some toe drag swag. And with 62 seconds, Sioux Falls has gained 10 yards to the 30. Throwing left side, not Clancy. Clancy will push forward for seven, and the hurry-up team will come on because Sioux Falls has used their final timeout, and the ball was brought down inbounds. 
Tyree throwing down the middle of the field, batted away, picked off another one right at the buzzer. Devin Cabrera has blockers in front of him to return this one. Devin Cabrera, 50 burger! Ask and you shall receive more points. 54-13, Mexico City puts up the burger. And it's good eating for everyone in the chat tonight. Devin Cabrera, the interception return for a touchdown, and he has had the, quite the game. He had the kick return for a touchdown and a interception return for a touchdown there. And Matt Wilson, the quarterback, says in the chat, no more, no more. And I would tend to agree with him as the second set of games for week three has begun. Varner will come on to make it an even 55. Is that even or odd? I don't remember. Yes, Alex Parker, that is the same guy as the kick returner, correct? Devin Cabrera, the gold free safety for the Mexico City Aztecs. Kick is away, Levy on the return. Levy angles left sideline, breaks one, won't break the second to the 31. The offense for Sioux Falls will trickle back onto the field slowly, but surely, and it might be time to put in Willie Beeman. Tyree under center, three receivers split out, Clancy in the backfield, Tyree to toss it, looking left side, caught, Jalen Miller down the left sideline, will get out to the 48 and out of bounds he'll go there. Ten receptions, 96 yards for Jalen Miller, still trying to find 100. Shotgun, four receivers split out for Tyree. Three down linemen. Mexico City will bring a fourth blitzer. And the throw is to Jalen Miller, who on these backups is putting in work down to the 30. 15 seconds and ticking. One more play, possibly, unless Tyree will spike it. And why wouldn't he spike it? Because this is going for longest game in history. So one more play, if not two, for Julian Tyree, depending on the throw and whether it goes down out of bounds or is caught. Tyree shotgun, Hail Mary time as Mexico City will improve to 3-0. and Sioux Falls falls to 1-2. and The heat the end zone is picked off and poetic justice is served. <laughs> Two seconds left and the Mexico City offense will come back out on the field. Ulysses Mora, another interception for the Aztec defense. Rezanes is on victory formation for the Aztecs. And week three for these two teams is in the book. Mexico City improves 55-13 to over the Sparrows. For everyone here at SFL Network, I am Andy Hamilton. Tune in tonight, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. Cameron Irvine on the call for the 500th game.